Hi, uh, uh, this is Capricorn's reading. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me stop. <laughs> Hi, Caps. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? How your mama doing? How your daddy doing? How your people doing? How your folk doing? How your children doing? How y'all doing? Anyway, I'm glad this video is coming. We need to do it. I ask you to both please like, share, subscribe, donate, order, get jazz. If you like a book or reading with me, a one-on-one -on -one session, or anything with me, you can just email me. I am not pricing anything out because um, I don't feel the need to do that at this particular time. I knew I, I, I know I was going to do that and start something, but <sighs> y'all, I keep getting attacked so much. So we're just going to work with what we got right now. You know what I mean? Just be happy in the moment. Until these people stop with their hating ass energies. They always hating on the mind. Like Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. Baby Cap. We be doing the damn thing. We be doing it. I'm a Cap sign for people that don't know. I am. I'm a Cap sign. And I, 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 I know I don't operate in my sun energy all the time. Um, But I have a Pisces rising. And I have a freaking... Capricorn Sun, Taurus and Moon, and then I have a, 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 a Venus and Aquarius. Yes, <laughs> I know. I love how I love baby. I have mastered love, and, I, and, and I, I, I don't like how people portray people with the Venus. That means you're a master love. You love how you love, and you, and it, it, most for most part, if you're healed and you're not karmatic. You're, you're going to be able to operate in the energy of um, your Aquarius energy, which is, um, if you have a Venus in Aquarius, which is, you know, being different in love, not being the same, not being traditional, and yet not being overly, you know, unorthodox, meaning... You have your own unique unique way of love, but it's mastered. Not only do you know how to love properly, but you know how to love individually, and you know how to give it out. Because life is going to teach you. That's what you. A lot of people don't know that about Venus, uh, Aquarius, Venus people. They love how they love, and they give. You know, sometimes you can be over overgiver, but um, that's what teaches you how to be different, how to uniquely issue out love. And when you can be very open with people that you that the people that you love, you get what I'm saying. Some people you can't just give your all your whole self to. You have to fill them out and weigh them out. And that's what I feel like. It's a lot. If somebody need to check on their Mercury bar. Just do two, four, six. Somebody need to definitely check on their Mercury bar. They're trying to um, mess with your stability and stuff and your clarity. Holy Spirit, give me um, messages. Give me what's going on for Capricorn placement into the month of October. What's going on with Caps for the month of October? This is a general reading for Cap placements for the month of October. What's going on for Caps? Okay, now the source came out first. Yeah, they're trying to stress you, Cap. Or somebody is stressed. I just got that in the, um, yeah, child. These readings are part, pretty much going together because I'm picking up on practitioner. People doing negative energetic work. Two, four, five, okay. They're angry about your happiness, about your sunny disposition, your sunny position. Like, you may naturally be a happy person. There's somebody is definitely mad. And they're trying to make you angry. This they're doing they're doing negative energetic work to make you angry. They want you angry. They want you mad. They want you upset. Just they want you stressed. They're, and, 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 and even though the reason why they want you stressed because they're stressed they're stressed about taking this leap of faith to do this negative energetic work to make you angry but yet they're optimistic about the results <laughs> what? this is crazy Cap this is very crazy for these people there we go Yeah, okay, Cap, you just showed up in your reading as the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering. I 
Oh, give me a second, you guys. I'm just reading the energy. Yeah, it's a water sign female that be could be working, coming against you, coming against a proposal or offer. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It don't have to be a female. It could be a male operating in fem feminine energy. Is this a male operating in feminine energy, Holy Spirit? Is this a male operating in feminine energy? Is this a male operating in feminine energy? Yes, this is very much a male operating in feminine energy. He is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun sign. So just remember that this person is definitely working on you. They're holding. They're they're making a decision to hold on to judgment about making um some kind of decision about um disappointment. Okay, so they're upset with you. They're upset with what you got going on. They're upset with you, um, with your ideas, your inspiration, the way you talk to people, the, the way who you are, the way that what you stand for. They're upset with it. They're upset with it. And, and, and I don't get that. I don't un understand. Demonic. I had to get some more cards. You got somebody stuck in their head about your union. It could be about your person. You got somebody stuck in your head. It's another feminine energy. It's a um, queen of wands. She's definitely stuck in her head about your relationship, the way that you're dealing with your person. Um, it could be your kingdom spouse or could be deal with anyone that whoever you're in a relationship with they're they're disappointed of how you mastered with dealing with this person they they, they you got them stuck in their head like how does she know how to, to move this way how does she know how to you know okay i'm trying to get this uh, uh person this Okay, yeah. Okay. So we have a man operating in feminine energy that's coming against you. You have a woman, Aries, Leo's, I think it's a, no, it's Taurus, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, that's operating. More likely a Virgo coming against you. In your own energy, you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. Uh, you're the star. Um, this reading is 
uh, with the, from Taurus Virgo Capricorn. If you watch the other readings, if you resonate with this reading, we'll go back and watch Taurus Virgo uh, because they, it, there is so much magic being done. I'm picking up on practitioner energy and you got them stuck in your head about how you master the relationship either with your twin flame, with yourself, with your inner self, how you master not getting upset because they're 10, 10 They're definitely trying to make you upset. They're definitely trying to put you in hell. They definitely don't want you in this abundant, loving life energy, this sun energy. They hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. They want you um, stuck in your head. They want you stressed. And they're stressed about even coming against you, but they're still doing it. It's crazy to me um, for people to do this, but um, some people love misery, love company, believe it or not. So even though that they're stressed, instead of going to work on what they're stressed about, they are constantly coming against you because they're stressed. They're stressed about your success. You are the star. You're holding this pinnacle. You're the star. And this queen of wands, her eyes is definitely on um her uh, this queen of wands eyes is definitely on your uh abundance your proposal your ideas what you got going on this queen of cups energy which is this male energy this male energy is on you he's fixated on you this cancer spicy scorpio is fixated on you and this um uh towards Virgo capricorn um, most likely a Virgo is asphyxiated on the things that you have to offer, the things that you have to give, you know, the things that you got to, to, to offer the world, to give the world. And this is stressing these people out. You got these people in their freaking head. They don't know whether they're going or coming. <laughs> and, um, baby, boy, they're trying to confuse you. I think, um, they did a mass confusion on the, on the, um, general pop. It's a confusion, um, on the general pop, especially when it comes around, um, relationships and people messing with Diddy. It's a lot of people that they're claiming that they, they don't even have no pictures of this, who they're saying that this person messed with Diddy. They don't have no proof of this. And yet they're saying that this person messed with Diddy and it's not. They're trying to throw basically somebody's kingdom of spouse or lover, soulmate, whatever, however we resonate with the terms they're trying to throw this person on the bus on get on this diddy wagon and put this person in that in this category and that's not the case here if you're dealing with this your person has never doesn't have any affiliations with that if it was as a high buy but i don't i feel like this person was so wrapped up into what they got going had going on they wasn't even in this this diddy mess they didn't have time to be in this diddy mess so um yeah this is just uh, a lot of rumors, false allegations, a lot of confusion that these people are throwing around, a lot of confusion magic. So don't get caught up in the hype that your twin was in this. Um, everything is going to be exposed at the end. So just just know that this is confusion magic. Um, if Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo, if you're dealing with a Cap cross ratchet, now you know what's going on, why people are saying this about you is because they are um, doing negative energetic work. And then it's crazy because it's a earth, other earth signs, a lot of other earth signs messing with two earth signs. So it's hard. It's not It's easy for me to figure out the energies, but um, for other people, it could be harder to um, get the messages or to view the messages unless you're actually in a situation simply because it's a lot of Tor Taurus, Virgo, um, um, Capricorn energies is in here. And then if you have a Taurus, a uh, uh, Virgo, or a, a, a cap of sun, then they're definitely, you know, it's definitely easy to get caught up in the signs. So please don't get caught up in the signs. I ask for the signs because I know which energies is what. So um, and we're going to just keep it more general than anything because this is very specific. This is very specific. Um, I don't, re I like dealing with seeing the signs, but this reading. I don't want you guys to get confused. And the angels is here too. The angels is telling, I got two angelic cards here. The angels is watching over there. They're calling judgment. They're mastering something. The angels are watching this. Um, Archangel Michael and Metatron are watching this. And trust me, these people are going to get dealt with. This, uh, this male energy that's operating in this female wounding energy. Because how you, how you a male when you're attacking a, a, a female? You know what I mean? Anyways, we, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> This is crazy. This male has a lot of mother wounding and a lot of feminine energy that's wounded in him. And he that's why he's hyper fixated on you, Capricorn, at this time. If this resonates with you and you're the Capricorn um, that is being, you know, attacked, they, this person is hyper fixated on you simply because they have a lot of mother wounding. Um, this Gemini that is in the, is, that's being, um, it's a Gemini that is in the, um, 
in the background like they're 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 cloaking themselves but they're around you so be very uh mindful that i have to clean my house constantly of uh astral projections uh of people watching me through crystal balls of all kinds of different um you know divination people are doing in a negative way not even a positive way to watch and to spy so just be very mindful of these energies be very mindful of clean out your space keep your space clean and just be very very uh thorough with cleansing especially your spiritual hygiene praying and stuff like that i'll be attacked where i can barely pray and stuff like that but i have my ways i'm not going to expose it here because they are they they attack it so i can't expose it right now at this moment but just i have my ways of how i get around these particular energies because they are very sneaky they're very conniving one thing about mentally ill people they are very intelligent if they want to get some shit done that's how i understand why people make excuses when it comes to healing because if you want to heal, you 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 make it a priority to be evil. If you really want to heal, you can make it a priority to be whole and you know to heal and to be loving and like you're choosing to be in your devil side. That's how I know a lot of mentally ill people who are mentally ill had horrible things that happened to us happen to them or to anyone. A lot of people have horrible things. A lot of us have a horror stories, but some of us, a lot of some of us come out parents go and will never do that to anyone and the other ones just choose to be weak and it's a choice you don't have to be weak a lot of people choose to be weak and they don't even understand it i feel like if you're innocent and you're just going through cycles you don't understand it but these people purposely are being evil they like being evil they like being in this dark energy and just as much as you like doing this dark energy you could like to heal you can want to heal but they don't choose to they they love this they love it <laughs> Okay, Holy Spirit, give me some more clarification about what's going on in this Capricorn reading because there's a whole lot with these practitioners. They don't want you to be the star. They don't want you to focus on you. Yeah, Spirit said uh, you need to high, uh, activate your higher self because they're definitely doing crown chakras on you. Uh, crown um, crown chakra spells, they're messing with your crown chakra and your root chakra. They want you in lack and doubt. <laughs> I told you they, they want you to have limitations and fears. I love the Lord Jesus. They want you to have a stalemate with your kingdom spouse, with your lover, and your love life, whoever. Yeah. But um, spirit, spirit say they want this to be your fate for you not to be in your abundant energy. But the divine intervention is coming. Yeah. They want you confused. They want you um, They want you to, uh, to, to be confused and have illusions. They want you in this Neptune energy. I don't know. And they're planting seeds. So if you're like when I'm on my timeline and stuff, I, I see a lot of stuff, especially about my grandma and stuff like that. I would share stuff like that. Um, but it don't bother me to make it me feel bad that uh, that she did what she did. When people don't love themselves, I, I, I love myself. And I had a mother that actually cared. And my grandmother was, um, my mother was not raised by my grandmother. And people think that st stuff like that hurt me. It doesn't. I have accepted that that's my truth. I accept it that that's my family's history. It doesn't bother me none. If she stole millions from me, my grandma, it doesn't bother me. Because uh, uh, one thing about this journey, you're not going to take money with you. It can damn sure make your life a lot easier. But when when your life is easy, the warfare is 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 it, 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 when you have um, a lot of money and stuff like that, the warfare is is easier on you because you're focused more on material things. But I I, I got I get everything I do out in the mud, and I'm still kind of in the mud. You get what I'm saying? I'm not hella rich or anything like that and I, i'm very grateful for the position that i'm in because i've elevated and i've started over again i had to start over twice and i start over again and i'm still elevating and um i'm just so grateful that i'm in this position to be able to start over because they have been doing hella work at behind the scenes is my grandma involved i don't know i really don't care i what i do care about is getting the word of god out what i do care about is doing my purpose here if my purpose here to be rich and to be famous it's gonna happen regardless no matter how somebody tries to stop it god just gonna bless me double triple quadruple just keep doing what you're doing it's you gonna rack up that karma and baby once it comes it's gonna hit you hard it's gonna hit you hard it really is so um I, I just leave all that stuff up to God and I just return back to center. If it's not my energy, I return back to center. I really do because people got to learn their lesson. 
Uh, I had stopped doing that. Spirit told me, nope, go back to doing it because they ain't learned their damn lessons yet. So I'm still giving out. God is using me to give out lessons, I guess. <laughs> That's how I look at it. And it's not the people out, out like I be in my ego when I do this. I don't. I wish that people would be loving. Like, I wish people would heal and just like, I want to heal. I wish I wasn't being an inspiration for you to heal. Oh, dang. She making me feel insecure. Let me go figure out what's wrong with me. Why I'm insecure. Why she making me feel this way. And she doing that but spreading knowledge, love, and light. Um, let me go Let me go figure out why I feel this way. You know, I wish it triggered people in that type of way. But uh, it, uh, to be honest, it doesn't. It's just people will retire against you for making them feel a way um and they don't have nothing to, it's not like you purposely do it it's just when you tell the truth i when you when you're a person that tells the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and you accept the truth a lot of times a, a lot of my truths in my life hurt like the truth is you know some people in my family was mentally ill i cannot go with them my grandma was mentally ill i could not put my kids around that because i wouldn't i don't I don't want my kids to be raised that thinking that is abuse is okay. You know what I mean? So I, I never put my kids around it. My people got money, so I could have had more help. I couldn't. I didn't have to live in a ghetto or be in poverty, but I did it by myself because I wanted my kids to be, you know, raised on love and happiness and joy, and um, not so much of oh you better do this or I'm gonna throw something at your head. You know what I mean? Or oh you better rub my feet and if you fall asleep I'm gonna hit you in the back of your head. You know, my mom didn't raise me on that, and I don't want to raise my kids on that. My mom brought me up in a very loving environment, even though my mom wasn't the best mom, but to me, she was everything. She was the best for me, and I love that. She protected me in every way, shape, form she could, even left me money that my people stole from me. But, you know what I mean? I'm still grateful for being here, and I would never, you know, put anything above my kids. I don't, unless it is God. You know what I mean? My purpose. And God always have a way of making your purpose, you know, be around your family members, around your family, the people that you love. Especially if you got kids and you're raising them up, your purpose will be something for kids. And that's why I advocate so much about the Jeffrey Epstein list. It's not to hurt anybody, but those people are mentally ill. They're pedophiles. They love children. Like, that's just what it is. And it's, I'm sorry that it hurts people's feelings, but also I'm not sorry that it hurts people's feelings either because you have to accept that there's something wrong with you because normal human beings just don't go around doing that to children normal human beings just don't even put themselves in that predicament to even be named in a lawsuit you get it just i love kids when i was a child i, I needed protected my mom protected me for my first 10 years before she got shot and killed when i was a teenager preteen and teenager i was not protected the way i should have been you know i get what i'm saying so at the end of the day I just, I, I love to be that person. Okay, my kids can never say they did this, did that. If anything, my kids will look at their other parent and be like, oh my God, like, mom, why you this way? And, they, they, and I, my kids know the difference. Um, I can't take my kids to be thinkers because when they get future, you know, when it comes in the future, they're the ones going to have to make the decision. If I do a good job now, I don't have to do worry about covering. Oh, no, I didn't do that. I could just say my kids like, well, you used to make me feel this. Way. I'm so sorry that you I didn't mean to make you feel that way. I'm one of those parents because we're all human. We all can grow from each other. Even my children, I learn from my children each and every day. They teach me something each and each and every day. And I just be like, Lord Jesus, like I see, I hear you guys. God use babies. He'll use anyone. And that's why I'm not above kids. Kids are our future. I don't just, oh, they just over there. No, they're suck, sucking up and, you know, they're everything that we do and say and, you know, they're sucking it up, whether you realize it or not. And for you to be in a p political position or a celebrity position and then you mistreat someone, I think you should be more held more accountable than anything because you have this particular influence on masses and we're seeing you on TV as an example and I, I feel like you should be held to a higher standard than the most common people because you have that star line, you have that influence, you have that um, that social status and it makes it makes it seem like oh my god we should praise you and a lot of times I'll, I'll, so not all celebrities and not all politicians but most of them ain't shit that's just what it is they ain't shit 
And it's not because they don't have to be. It's because they choose not to be. Because God said we're beautifully and wonderfully made. But that, that comes at a standstill when you're doing demonic stuff to people. That comes at a standstill when you're constantly hurting children and human beings. And that comes at a standstill when you're not growing. You know, that, that's a standstill. You are wonderfully and beautifully made. But to walk into the fullness and, and the fully glory of God, you have to not be the harm a child. Not be done late with another man. Not be done late with another woman. That's why we have all the, the, the things that we have going on in the world. Because people uh uh people of the same sex are laying with each other people are messing with, our, with their children and other people's children we in in a sexual way and 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 it, now we have diddy taking men's you know manhood from them and drugging them and they not even realizing what had happened to them until after it had happened you know what I mean? And, 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 and this is stuff that's so demonic. This is why God said don't participate in these things. Because the more you participate in it, the more you're going to want it. The more you're going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And that's the same thing. It's just like when you when you get married and you love someone and you continue to like, oh, I love this person. You keep feeding that love. And you, you don't keep doing it because it's, it's, it feels good. And you love that person. You're in love with that person. You want to be with that person. You want to be around that person. You want to make it work. Because of... The, the 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 habit that builds up and once you build up a negative habit you it's hard to break it it's really hard and then over 20 years you've been essaying people children and things of that nature it's hard to break it you're gonna have a hard fall and that's what uh the diddy case is is a hard fall and i hate to just say diddy because there's so many other politicians and people who are in it and it's just not diddy we should not i don't, I don't feel like kicking him while he down um I, and i know people like that's not what they, but these people so need to be saved that's what i'm saying these people need to heal we need to give them a space to heal not a condone what they're doing because diddy got a long we already know a lot of people already know what he's been doing but what about the other people we need to get barack obama name and been called michelle obama name and been called it's other people in this that that has a big part of it and they that the, the light is just shining on diddy right now we need the light shine on every single person that ever had something to do with harming a child or any taking anybody's um sexual yoni energy or sacred energy by force whether you're a man or a woman by force that is intolerable that is unacceptable and that we should not be as american uh any type of human participating this on with any other race any other human any other country we should not be doing that to one another we're here to spread love and light and we're here to to grow and yeah we may hurt each other at times but why would you intentionally do this to someone this is very nasty behavior this is very demonic behavior and we're not just calling out diddy i'm not here just a bebop on diddy but everybody that has to do something it needs to be shown and i'm not here to demonize it you already deem they already know it's wrong they had to get high to do it they know it's wrong you had to drug somebody to do it you know it's wrong you're gonna your own conscience is gonna beat you up i don't have to beat you up i'm not here to do that and people are oh no no, no, no. i know they made a need to, no diddy and it's a lot of stuff going around with diddy but we we, we let's be fair here let's call space a spade and let's name everybody not just one person not just one person he's not just the, the main person the main person and every victim that had something to do um, that was victimized. I am so sorry that you was victimized in that way. And anybody else who was victimized, know that you need to heal so that you don't be a tool for Satan. Because they did the reason why the devil used Diddy the way he did is because he had full full range. And not only that, it's because the devil wants to create a tear in your aura so you can create these generational curses with your kids and things of that nature. And I'm so glad that it's being exposed at this time because our world was doomed to fail because it's less love on this planet and it's more craziness it's more fake love than real love actually on this planet and that's the that's what's wrong with this planet it's more fake love than real love and that's just the bottom line i'm sorry capricorn but i had to rant again it had to come out i'm so sorry but <laughs> you know i got it out i'm out peace love you guys real love